If you're satisfied that the Grease Guardian is correctly installed and has been filled with water, then it's okay to turn on the power and let's have a look at the program. The unit will run a quick test of its program. The heater will come on for 10 seconds, then the motor for 10 seconds, and if there's an automatic spray bar, this will come on as well. You can also activate the test mode by pressing plus and minus, and it will bring on the sequence of heating, test skimming, and test spray bar. On the top left hand corner, you will see the time of day. In the top right hand corner is the actual program reference. So this program is reference DX1. The next line shows the cycle status of the unit. In this case, it's telling us our next cycle is due at 6 a.m. On the home screen, there can be additional messages displayed, such as lid off as we have in this instance, whether the unit is currently in cycle, and at what intensity, whether it is heating or skimming, whether the cycle is finished, and if so, the daily maintenance required, also to advise when the next service is due. The Grease Guardian controller comes with many options to be able to fine tune the cycle. On the DX1 program, we have several sub-menus which you access by pressing the A button. By pressing it first of all, it brings you into four time blocks that you can choose for your cycle to operate within. Pressing A again will bring you into the skim intensity menu. Press A another time and this will bring you into your heater controls and its duration. Pressing A again will bring us into the day selector where you can isolate certain days or book a full week. Press A another time and it brings you into the controls for the spray bar. Pressing A again will bring you into the service menu. So what happens during a program cycle? The first thing to remember is that the Grease Guardian will trap food waste and grease even if it's switched off at the mains. The program that we set is for automatically removing the trap grease by firstly heating and then skimming. The grease is heated up and liquefied and then is skimmed off to into the external container. When the unit is in a cycle, the display reads in cycle and low skim. This means that the unit is in a cycle at low intensity skimming. The display will indicate what stage of the process it's at by either flashing heating or skimming. When the cycle ends, the display will indicate cycle finished. Following this, the unit will display a message indicating that the daily maintenance has to be done. This will last for about 10 minutes. You can carry out the maintenance anytime as long as the unit is not in cycle. We recommend maintenance is done first thing in the morning or a couple of hours after the sinks have emptied. Each kitchen is different. Some kitchens are open 24 seven and others only a few days a week. There are different ways to change how much you actually skim. You can add up the four skimming periods, change the intensity of each skimming period, or turn the program off on days when there is no grease being produced. The first menu you come to is the time slot menu. You can have up to four cycles of heating and skimming each day. The default is one cycle in the morning, which you see here starts at 6 a.m. The Grease Guardian DX1 program boasts 10 cycles that you can choose from. You can rotate between the cycles by pressing on the button B and this will move the setting to the next block as we see here. The next menu you come across by pressing A will be the skim intensity screen. You can change the default low setting to medium or high by pressing the button B. A steam oven, for example, produces a lot of grease when cooking chickens, which may require a higher intensity. Pressing B changes these intensity settings. For example, low setting is 10 minutes skimming, whereas high setting is 30 minutes skimming. The next menu controls the heater cycle. It's recommended that you keep the heater on for all skimming cycles. This menu allows you to control how long the unit heats for. 
If the waste is generally coming in cold, you may want to increase the heating. However, if the waste is always hot, then you can either decrease or turn off the heating. To control the heat duration, you select the minutes as shown here by pressing OK and then increase or decrease your values by pressing plus or minus. Or to turn the heater off completely, just hold down your B button. Sometimes kitchens open only on specific days. By pressing A we come down to our daily menu where you can choose what days of the week you wish the unit to operate on. Here we have it set for every day of the week. By pressing B you can switch off at the weekends or here we have it every second day. Keep pressing B and you'll be able to scroll through the 12 different daily options that you have available to you. Within the spray bar menu, you can select whether you have a solenoid valve which needs to be activated, as you see here, or whether you have a manual one, in which case it needs to be deactivated. You do this by pressing B and your signal changes to inactive. To revert back, press B again. To change the duration of the spray, you activate it by pressing OK and change your values by pressing plus or minus and then OK to save. By default, the spray bar will remain off for 55 seconds as displayed here. To change this, move the cursor down, press OK to select and then change your time as such. Don't forget to press OK to save the setting. This screen sets the install date for the unit, which is automatically logged when a mains power signal is detected for more than 48 hours. A great feature on the unit is the pump out reminder notification. This can be set in accordance with local regulation requirements or when you feel a full pump out will be needed. To change the pump out frequency, again select OK and using the plus or minus buttons you can increase the interval to suit. In this case, we're changing the interval to once every six months. And again, press OK to save. The user's daily checks reminder can be switched off for applications where it's not required. This is done by toggling the button B, as shown here. You're probably wondering how we set the time of day on the machine. Well, it's done very easily by following these steps. First press Escape and OK simultaneously. And then with the minus button, drop down to miscellaneous and select OK. Select clock and press OK. Select date and hour setup by pressing OK. The unit will start flashing on the seconds. To toggle around the various fields, press minus and this will bring you to the date, to the month, to the year, to the hour. If we want to change the hour, press OK and select plus or minus to change the setting. Always remember to press OK to save your settings. To get to the home screen, press Escape repeatedly and you will arrive back at your default home page. So there you are, your new Grease Guardian X series is good to go. The unit has been properly installed. The program has been set accordingly for your kitchen. Don't forget folks, you've got three daily maintenance tasks to undertake. The first being, the strainer basket needs to be removed and cleaned down. Secondly, the grease collection container needs to be emptied. And thirdly, your wiper blade assembly. Remove that, wash it down and replace. Thank you for watching our video on the GGX series. We hope you found it informative. For more information, please subscribe to the Grease Garden YouTube channel. Find us on Facebook or visit our website, greaseguardian.com.